Hi guys, it's Kayla. Welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you are new. My name is Kayla, like I said, and I'm back with another video. So as you can see, I'm sitting outside, but lucky me, I have a microphone. So I feel like it's going to sound much better than if I were to normally make a video outside with no microphone. So let's just hope, <laughs> even though there is an airplane going over, but I don't know if you're going to hear it or not since I have the microphone on, but yeah, so I've decided to come do a sit down video with you guys today and it's just a super lovely day outside and I really just want to enjoy it. I really want to be outside. It's pretty early in the morning. I'm trying to get the time. Oh, it's 1046 now. Well, it was early before, but yeah, so this morning, oh, I need more, I need more champagne. Anyway, so this morning, um, babe and I got home from work instead of last night. So we've been up since, well, I've been up since six. But anyway, so I've decided to do a sit down video with you guys. I really wanted to do like an updated Q&A, but since it was kind of last minute, I'm like, you know what? I'm not even gonna ask for questions on social media. I'm just going to ask my chat GPT for some questions, like ask me some questions to get to know me and chat GPT came through. I feel like the questions are pretty good. I didn't read all of them, but like the first five, I like them. So we're just going to go ahead and answer the questions that chat GPT asked me while I drink my mimosa outside on this beautiful Florida day, because let me tell you guys. The fact that I am a truck driver, I'll get to that, that's one of the questions, but the fact that I am a truck driver and I get to see different states, like it really makes me appreciate Florida so much because it's so beautiful and other states can just be so gloomy. I'm sorry if the camera does get dark. I know if I, I noticed if I look away, it gets dark. So I'll try not to do that too much. But yeah, other states can just be so gloomy and so, uh, so I really do appreciate where I live in Florida so anyway let's get to the questions um first question what's your name and where are you from so my name is Kayla Taylor Madelier it used to be Kayla Nicole Taylor but I got married and I changed it so I took my last name that I was born with and put it as my middle name so Kayla Taylor Madelier I took my wife's last name and where are you from so I am from here actually I'm from Florida I was born and raised I was born right in Boynton Beach, but that's the hospital. <laughs> born and raised in Florida, yep. How old are you? So I am actually 33 years old. Yes, I was born in 1991. I'm a 90s baby, love it. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm 33 years old. Can you tell us a bit about your career or what you do for a living? See, I knew that was one of the questions. So I am a truck driver. My wife and I, we both drive trucks together, actually. Uh, yeah. So I'm a truck driver and also I do some social media, but I'm not really, I don't call myself like an influencer because I'm not that consistent, even though I would love to be, cause I really do enjoy making videos. Um, I don't know. So I just, I wish I was more consistent and I'm really working on that. I really, really am working on that. But yeah, so I'm a truck driver. And yes, it's 18 wheelers. Cause a lot of people, they're like, Oh, like, what do you do? And I'm like, I, I drive trucks. And they're like, oh, like the big, like the 18 wheelers. Like, yes, not a box truck. We drive the big 18 wheelers, the big, big trucks with the sleeper semi truck. OK, so that's that's what we drive. What are some of your favorite hobbies or interests? So, you know, that's a good question, actually, because I don't even know. I don't know what I enjoy doing. I, I know I enjoy being outside. Uh, I really, really enjoy being outside. Um, I used to enjoy playing sports a lot, like basketball or something, but I feel like I've grown kind of out of it. Like, I'll still go play with the kids and stuff like that, but it's not, like, something that I would say is a hobby of mine. But I think I just, I really like being outside. Anything that's outside, I want to do it. I, but I don't have, like, an actual specific hobby <laughs> okay i just really like being outside do you have any pets if so what are their names so so no is the answer no i don't have any pets um 
I had to answer like that because I did have two dogs. And I say did because they didn't pass away. They didn't die or anything. But I had two dogs when my wife and I decided to become truck drivers. And we realized that we were going to be on the road, be in the truck. Um, I gave, well, yeah. So I gave one of the dogs to my mom. It started out as like, <laughs> okay, one of my dogs, because I had two. Well, I said that. But one of my dogs went to my mom's house. And the other one went to my grandma's house. So... I didn't give them my dogs, but it did end up that way. So my mom still has AJ. Um, he's doing really well. I see him when I go over there. And then my grandparents, they had my other dog, Carmelo, for, gosh, a few years. But then they gave him to my grandma's sister because my grandma's sister, her dog ended up passing away. And also my grandparents' dog did pass away, too. I think after her dog, but anyway, so um, Anna really, really, really loved Carmelo and Carmelo loved Anna, which is my grandma's sister's name. And so, yeah, so Carmelo's with Anna now. Um, I don't want any more pets. I really, I'm not into it. I know my wife loves cats and I think she wants a cat eventually, but I don't care for any pets. I don't care for that responsibility. That's just how I see it because I used to really, really, really love animals. Like I want a dog, I want a cat. I want all that, but now I kind of passed that stage, I guess. I don't want that responsibility. I don't want to clean after them. I love the love that they give. Like, it's so unconditional. That's what I love about pets or animals in general. But I just, I don't want that responsibility. What's your favorite type of food? Oh, it asked me that in a good way, actually. Because, you know, I have, I struggle answering, like, what is my favorite food? But my favorite type of food is pasta. Any pasta... Oh my god, it could be spaghetti, macaroni, like any pasta, okay? Any type of pasta, doesn't even have to be, no, it's just pasta. I love pasta. Pasta. <laughs> Alfredo, oh my god, yes. Do you prefer reading books or watching movies? Any favorites? So I, I have to say that I prefer watching movies just because I haven't, well, I actually, I did read a book not too long ago. I was get, I'm getting marked up from the table. I was going to say that I haven't read any books recently, but I did a few months ago. I just don't make the time to read. Otherwise, I would say I love reading books. I really do enjoy sitting down and reading a book. I just don't make the time. And now that Babe and I are back in the truck, we're back on the road, we're only home two days a week, I just, I, I don't make the time for it. But I do enjoy reading, but I would have to say that I enjoy movies watching movies more movies and tv shows tv shows <laughs> once i'm hooked i'll finish the show in one day two tops like depending on how many seasons but once i'm hooked to a tv show you can't unhook me mm -mm. <sighs> what's your go-to way to relax and unwind after a long day okay i would have to say two things come to mind um it's either to get a drink, get a little drink, maybe make a drink or a glass of wine, but I actually prefer to mix a drink. Yeah, I don't know why. I, I'll drink wine, but I don't love it. Um, yeah, so maybe make a nice little drink, light up the hookah, and just sit on the couch and watch whatever TV show or movie. Or number two to rewind, I mean, easy. I love taking baths. I could go glass of wine no glass of wine drink no drink i would just get in the bath and just lay there but i have to have like my ipad and still be watching something or i'll be just researching stuff i love to research things i love to like have something to look into i just i really enjoy it like tell me you want to go on vacation i'll spend the next until we go on vacation i'll spend the whole time just searching it best hotels best like i'll get the flight i'll look at all the activities i'll do all that i love having something to work on, to look into, to research. I love that. So I enjoy it so much. So it's either a bath or make a drink and lay on the couch, hang out, just, yeah. Are you a morning person or a night owl? Definitely a morning person. I 100% am a morning person. I cannot stay up late, even though my wife and I, like we do stay out, or we used to stay out late a lot of times, but I wanna be up early, first thing in the morning, I'm out of the house. Like, I'm up and I'm out. I don't want to be in the house. 
no i'm definitely a morning person <sighs> definitely i am not a night person whatsoever what's something you're really passionate about oh that's a good question what am i really passionate about oh that's a good one I uh, see I don't know I'm still figuring myself out I really am I'm really I'm really really still figuring myself out because I don't know the answer to that question what am I passionate about I've been passionate about things but in this moment damn I didn't even know the AC was running I hope because of the microphone that the AC wasn't loud as hell the AC unit outside but anyway um yeah, I don't, damn, I wish I had something that I was passionate about right now, but I, I have nothing. I cannot think of anything. It's kind of sad. You go through a lot of stages in life, and I just feel like I'm going through another stage in my life because I've had passions, and I've had hobbies, and then you may grow out of it, or I, I don't know, whatever the case may be, I just, I'm going through a whole other phase in my life figuring out who I am now and what I like, don't like. I always know what I don't like. That's always the easy one for me. I'm always like, if I hear it, I'm like, okay, no, I don't like that. But it's like, do I like it enough to like, <laughs> I don't know. But I, I, yeah, okay. So what was the question? Because I have just been mumbling about this. Where am I? Yeah, I, I don't know what I'm passionate about. I really don't. Um, do you have any pet peeves or things you dislike? Okay, that will be a whole video in itself. I am like the person with the most pet peeves you've ever heard, but I hate when people, I hate when I can hear people chew their food. I don't want to hear you chew your food. I don't want to, like, like, I can hear how good it tastes. Like, I hear you enjoying, the, I don't want to hear, please don't let me hear you chewing your food. That is probably one of my biggest pet peeves. I don't want to hear nobody chewing their food. Like, I can't. I can't do it. <laughs> no. What's one thing on your bucket list that you hope to accomplish someday? Okay, so I, here, here's where I feel like the dilemma in my life comes from because I've, I've done a lot. Like, I'm 33, and I feel like we've accomplished a lot. We've, we've experienced a lot, and that's where... I am stuck right now. So for my bucket list, I, I don't know what I have. That's what I'm trying to figure out what is next. Because uh, I, I can talk all day about this, but what is life, man? You, 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 you set a goal, you reach it, and then what? You set another goal, and then you reach it, and then what? You set another goal. Because if you don't have any goals, then like what are you doing? What's the purpose of your life? So you constantly have to like be working for something, right? At, at, without getting into too much detail. That's how I feel. So, um, with that being said, you know, my wife and I bought a house. We bought a luxury car, something we always wanted, um, a house, a nice car. Um, we have a nice career. I don't know what's next. I, I don't know if kids are the next step. I don't fully know if I want to have kids yet. Um, <laughs> that's another thing. So, anyway, the best answer, what the hell was the question? <laughs> my bucket list I have nothing on my bucket damn I have no passions I have nothing on my bucket list what the fuck do I have I don't really care to travel right now I would like to take maybe one vacation a year two tops because I don't even like vacations like that but um bucket list bucket list what, what is what's on my bucket list I have nothing I feel like that's that's what I was trying to get to like I feel like I've done almost everything that I've asked for like I feel like we have worked so hard we have gotten so far and now I just want to enjoy my life, figure out what my hobbies are, figure out what my passions are, and, and, and do it. I, I love making videos. I love recording. Um, that's definitely probably a hobby or a passion of mine. I don't know which one, which category that falls in. But yeah, I don't know. Um, Jeez, oh, uh, have I said anything in the last like 20 minutes, really? Are you guys still watching? Because at this point... I don't even know what I'm talking about. What what was the question? My bucket list. I don't know. If you could travel anywhere in the world, where would you go first? Okay, that's a good question. Um, I feel like right now, 
I really want to go to Costa Rica. Everybody talks about Costa Rica, and I need to see it for myself. Everybody, every video, because uh, I have been searching. That's another thing. I've been searching people moving out of the United States. Like, where do they move to? Because I've been on that whole thing with, like, moving out of the country. Anyway, we're not going to go there. We're not moving anywhere, but I was YouTubing the videos. <laughs> um, yeah, so Costa Rica was coming up a lot, as well as Mexico, but I've, met, I've been to Mexico. So I would really love to go to Costa Rica, but yeah, yeah, I would say Costa Rica. What's your favorite season and why? Not summer, summer's too damn hot. And if you live in Florida, you already know summer is too damn hot. Maybe, maybe the winter. I like the winter because I live in Florida. I love the winter because it's not too cold. Christmas is in the winter time. What else? <laughs> I don't know what else, but winter. Let's go with winter. Can you share a fun or interesting fact about yourself that most people don't know? I don't have a fun or interesting fact. Um, I think I'm a very smart person. I don't, I don't know what, what talents I have. I don't even know if I'm talented or whatever. A fun or interesting fact. I don't know. I don't ha I don't, I'm boring. I'm, I, I got to figure my life out. Mm -mm. That's the problem. When my wife and I, we were home for, we moved into our house in November 2022. We left trucking, we stayed home, and we did social media for a year, a little bit over a year, because we got to this job in January. Although we did try to go on the road, but that's another story. Not really, not for another time. It just, whatever. So, Basically, what I'm getting to is that while we were home, I didn't have any hobbies. I didn't have anything fun that I really was doing. It was more of just like taking it day by day. And as much fun as it sounds to like work from home, you really do need, you still need a balance. You still need a work-life balance because what's, what's regular life? Like you get up, you don't even know what you're doing today. You just take it day by day. You just go with the wind and I don't know it works for some people it didn't work for me I was not I'm not gonna say I wasn't happy but I definitely struggled with like just not knowing what to do every day like, I need something to do I need to get out of the house I am an outside person I love being outside I want to get out of the house so I, I really struggled with that and that's how Babe and I ended up, my wife and I ended up back into the truck. Um, she has her own reasons. She just loves being in the truck. She loves just to get, to have that getaway. And that's like, that's like her getaway. But me, if I could just figure myself out a little bit more, and if I could just, you know, find some hobbies, things that I enjoy doing, that I look forward to, I wish I wish I wish I could look forward to working out. I really want to work out and get into shape. I really do. But I'm just that person that starts going to the gym and a week later you don't go anymore. So I wish that I could enjoy that, like look forward to going to the gym. That's one thing. Hopefully it will come to me one day cuz I feel like people yeah, some people just do it. I don't know. I think you got to have a passion for the gym in order to keep going in my opinion but besides that if I could just find that balance then I would love to come back off the road and be home again but I don't want to be home again and fall into that same pattern of just like not have it having anything to do I don't know it sounds great to some people it's gonna it's gonna sound great to just oh you're home every day, it's, it wasn't that great for me. So I do, I need to figure out my passions. I need to figure out my interest. Um, I'm gonna make another video. Oh my gosh, actually I have two videos I wanna make. I wanna make a video. I'm not even gonna tell y'all the name of that cause that video, yeah, maybe I'll do that one next. The second video that I wanna make is, I don't wanna say about God because a lot of people, um, you know, may or may not agree or like what I'm saying. So I don't want to focus it around God specifically, but more of like maybe faith and how like I lost 
my faith and I'm trying to find it again. I really want to talk about that. Um, I'm not I'm not good at talking about my feelings, actually, or yeah, I'm, I'm not good. Really not good at talking about my feelings. But since you guys are like not here physically in front of me and I'm just looking at myself in the camera, it's a little bit easier. So I feel like I'll be able to express how I really feel to you guys. And then I have to go watch it back when I edit and that's what I don't want to do. <laughs> that's what I don't want to do. So anyway, hopefully um, you guys enjoyed this video and let me see if ChatGPT has any more questions for me. Any more questions? I love ChatGPT. I would just ask it random shit like random shit. What's your favorite childhood memory? Oh my God, they literally are giving me more questions. Are you guys still watching? What's your favorite childhood memory? I'm going to keep these short. Short and sweet. If you're still watching, I'm literally, I'm just going to ask the question and answer it. I'm not even going to keep talking. Um, what's your favorite childhood memory? I don't know, but I know we traveled a lot. I have so many good memories. That's another video I want to make about my childhood because I have so many good memories. Are you more of a spontaneous adventurer or a careful planner? I want to say both. It depends on my mood because I could be really spontaneous depending on the time and the place because if we're in another country, I'm not going to be spontaneous because I don't know what is around. But if we're home, I'll be like, hey, let's go do this randomly. But I'm also a planner if we're going to like another country or somewhere that I'm not familiar with. I will do a lot of careful planning. Um, do you have any hidden talents or skills? No. The, what's your favorite way to exercise or stay active? Trying to figure that out because my ass is not active at all. Um, can you share a memorable moment from your recent past that brought you joy? Memorable moment. I don't know. That's going to take too long to answer. I don't have an answer for that one. I don't have a quick answer. What's your favorite thing about yourself? I feel like I'm fun. Like, I'm probably not the nicest person or I'm probably not the, I don't know. I feel like I'm fun. Once we're hanging out and, like, I'm comfortable with you, I'm really fun. So I'm just going to say that. Do you, and I'm smart. I really do feel like I'm smart. Do you, <laughs> I'm, like, thinking about it as I say it. I really do think that I'm smart. I'm like, is that bad to say? Like, I don't want to feel like I'm bragging, but I just, I, I feel like I'm smart. Like, I have common sense and also... I am book smart. Um, do you have any phobias or fears? I, oh my God, that's a good one. That should have been in the other ones. All right, so a quick answer, yes. I'm definitely, I, I'm afraid of dying. Like, I feel like I haven't lived yet. I'm not done living. And I just, you see shit every day constantly on the news and people dying randomly or like falling off a bridge, you know, with the boat crashing into it or it's it's just crazy okay so right now for the last few months or whatever it is i i have a fear of dying so i'm not i'm not done living and i love my life and i just i just i'm just not done living um what's one thing you wish you could change about the world i just want the world to be nicer i really do like i want everybody to just be nicer be happy be happy and nice. Like, that's it. Just help each other. That's all I want to change about the world is just help each other. Think about other people. Don't just think about yourself. Anyway. Uh, are you a tea or a coffee person? Damn, that's a good question because I do love coffee, but I do love a good chai tea. But I would say coffee because the only tea I like really is chai tea. Uh, can you share a valuable lesson you've learned recently that answer would probably probably be way too long so i don't know what was the question can you share a valuable lesson you've learned recently i don't know i learn lessons all the damn time life is just full of lessons and you really got to learn because if you're not learning these lessons you're not growing you're not maturing you're not leveling up you're not none of that so anyway i've i've really just been talking and just rambling on and on so i really hope you guys enjoyed the video if you have any more questions or anything that you actually want to know about me that i didn't cover which i probably didn't because i just asked chad gpt so you guys probably have different questions but yeah if you have anything just drop it in the comments below um i'll make sure to like take note of the questions and then answer them in my next video um 
yeah so like i said drop comments down below if you have any more questions anything you want to know about me and also make sure you give the video a thumbs up and if you're not subscribed already make sure you hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you can always get notified when i drop a new video and i will see you guys in the next video okay bye